be a woman. I would not want to be a backgig. All right, well, I am officially in Memphis. Uh, haven't been in Tennessee for many years. And right now I'm waiting for Diamond Dave. He's um he's helping me out today get to um Corinth. Corinth, I don't know. So thank you to Dave Keating, Diamond Dave, MC. Probably seen him around. So uh, at the airport, waiting for Diamond Dave. Check later. So this is Corinth. Mississippi. Yep. Who would have ever thought I would be in Corinth, Mississippi? Or Cor. Yeah. Corinth. 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 But we're here and I'm ready for some slug burgers tomorrow. Kind of. <sighs> Alright, well, I thought this trip was going to be hard, anyways, and it's. Proving to be a lot harder than I was anticipating. So he drops me off at my condo lodge and get to the front desk and the woman says that Mississippi law says you have to be 21 to rent a fucking room in Mississippi. That's such bullshit, I mean, come on, 21 to rent a room? I mean, what, am, am I not responsible enough because I'm 20? Sorry, I might be cranky right now because I'm hungry and tired and I'm pissed off. But I mean, that's, that's stupid. Well, anyways, um, fortunately, I did find a room. Cost me a couple more bucks, more than a couple more bucks. But anyways, I'm not going to complain. Tonight, I'm not sleeping on the Corinth streets. Corinth. Corinth. I'm gonna call it Corneth. Corneth Street. I will be sleeping in a nice king size bed. Plenty of room for myself. I don't know, that's my cliff bar. Plenty of room for myself and the toad. I'm here in Corneth. Tomorrow I got slug burgers. I'm gonna be heading over early with Dave Keating. Gonna. Get my, my hand with some slug burgers, test them out, see what's up. Alright, so this is downtown Corinth. Not good. Oh, I'll just get some of this. Yeah, sure. There is the Ferris wheel for this epicness. <laughs> New street light right there. Four stop signs glued together. Alright, this is the main stage for tomorrow. They're doing some sort of slug idol thing right now, which is kind of cool, I guess. Slug Burger Festival, look at that. Alright, got my slug burger. When I get back to the hotel, I'm going to dissect this thing so my hands are dirty. And you can see deep fried burger patty with a big pickle there, mustard, and there's onions in there. So, it's actually not that heavy, as you can see from my hand. It's like the size of McDonald's, so. All right, well, hello, everybody. Um, welcome to the first ever episode of Megatoad Science. I am your host, Matt Stoney, the Megatoad. And what we have, the topic of subject today is, sorry, I don't have a cameraman or anything. Slug burgers. Look at that thing. Let's get some light here. All right. So what a slug burger is is hamburger bun. Hold on a second. All right. So what we have here is a hamburger. It looks like a hamburger. Actually, it looks more like a fish fillet. Now. I had to bring this all the way back from the festival, so it's a little bit crusty. This is not how they're going to be at the contest. They're going to be a lot better, hopefully. But as you can see, there's going to be mustard on these slug burgers. This is the deep fried burger patty, and my hands are already gross. That's My hands are already oily. 
Now, this is my main concern right here. This baby, because I have never had a deep fried hamburger. And under it, oh, this is where all the mustard is and condiments. So, so let me put this over here for now. On the bottom side, you can see the condiments. Let me lift this up. What we have here is we have a combination of pickles, onions, sliced onions, and a hell of a lot of mustard. Alright, so that's what a slug burger is. Buns, these are just normal buns. My main concern is what the fuck am I going to do with this patty. Now, this patty, it's very deep fried. Um, see, this is exactly why I'm not going to eat it because I really wanted to pull this shit apart and really figure out. Wow. <laughs> now, you might be thinking when you see a deep fried hamburger, it's like a hamburger mixed with maybe a little bit of breading or something and then you deep fry it. But check this out. That is not hamburger. And the lighting's kind of bad here. That, that is not hamburger meat. That's like an immense amount of filler. Like. They said that they use soy grits, and actually the lady there said that they're mostly soy grits. So this isn't even like a hamburger, which is actually a very good because soy grits, as you can see, are nice and spongy. Hamburger patty is very tough. So, yeah, look at that. That's, that's not hamburger. Look at that. that that's not hamburger. And these parts are crunchy. These parts are nice and hard. But the center part is nice and smooth. So what is the conclusion of the Megatoad science scientist right here? My conclusion is that these aren't going to need much water. Now, you can't dunk them. Dunking actually would be beneficial in this aspect. But no dunking tomorrow. Um, there's a lot of mustard on these. The mustard is going to help them down. So overall, I'm just going to plow out these. I might rip them in half just to make it easier to hold, but what I think I'm actually going to do is so see this is why I'm not eating the hamburger. I'm going to ruin this shit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the hamburger uh, do it in this hand like this like this and like that. Squeeze it like that. And then you got a little thing. Mouth in like and that's how I'm going to eat it tomorrow. I don't know how well that's going to work, but that's what seems to be the best. So anyways, there we go. There's a ruined slug burger. Um, I'm tired as shit from today. I, I've been up for so long. I had four hours of sleep last night. I'm super tired. But I got my Powerade. I got my Insure at Walmart, so I'm happy. Toad's happy. I met some cool people at the festival. I saw some slug idols, which were, I don't know, and I got my slug burger. Most importantly of all, I got my slug burger, and I know what I'm doing tomorrow. So this, this is what competitive eaters do before a contest. They take their food, they mash it up, and they mutilate it, and then they dream about it. Slug burgers! It is currently the morning of July 14th, I believe, so that only means one thing, slug burgers. Alright everybody, well, it's just about that time, about half an hour away, we get down on some slug burgers, there's the main stage, it's the slug burger festival, and the crowd's kind of... 30 minutes ago, there wasn't a soul here, but they're showing up, so thank God. Stuff going on. What you got to say to the camera? What up, world? I can't wait to finally go up against this kid. I've been dying what to do kid? it. Oh, that kid. I mean, that kid. Boy, man. I see, I see no kids. 
some of the top level talent here on the circuit of competitive eating here today to compete for the first time ever in the Slug Burger World Championship. We were so happy to be here. Yeah, that's right, let's hear it. 25th anniversary Slug Burger Festival. He's the sixth ranked eater in the world and to take his first ever world title, I give you Matt the Megaton Stout. Let's count it down in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Begin eating! Begin eating! All right, ladies and gentlemen. The slug burger is a difficult discipline because it is a fried food. If you know anything, and you can get right up here in the spray zone, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to step up, I know some people are not so bold. Already one minute gone by. One minute gone by, and Matt the Megatone Stoddy already has one plate done. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, Jamie McDonald down the end with the shamrock on his hat. He's a deceptive eater. It looks like he's eating with, with deliberate intent, which he is, but he's all also eating with incredible speed and accuracy. Take on me, ladies and gentlemen. That's what the Megatone is saying. We've reached the three-minute mark, ladies and gentlemen. The three-minute mark has already been reached. Three minutes gone by, and the Megatone about to finish his third plate. He's got one left on the third plate. He's taking a drink. Remember, there is no dunking. Adrian Morgan is right behind him, ladies and gentlemen. We are reaching the point, ladies and gentlemen, the point in the competition where we say the competitors start hitting the wall. Come on, Corinth, bring the ball. Here we go. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Stop eating. Stop eating. All food items must be down. And that brings us to the first ever world championship slug burger champion and his first title ever with 30 slug burgers. Amazingly, 10 minutes. Matt the Megaton Stoney! Crushing the competition with $1,500. It was a long road to get to it. There we have it. Uh, my first ever Major League Eating Championship title. I am currently the one and only Slug Burger King of the world. Look at that. Slug Burgers, this is my this is my claim to fame right now. The first world record ever. Good deal overall, um, just about to hit the streets for a little bit of a jog, wash up, head out with the guys, Adrian and Juan are here in Memphis with me right now, same with Keating, uh, we're going to hit up Beale Street, hopefully I don't get kicked out, um, or hopefully I just get in, so uh, yeah, good stuff, I'm now a champion, oh.